Are you missing out on the biggest EBT shopping secrets? What if I told you there are five game-changing items that you may be missing out on? Let's unlock those savings now. We'll start with fresh fruits and vegetables. Yes, I know they're expensive, but hear me out. If you buy them at the right place, they can literally pay for themselves. I'm serious. There is a special part of the SNAP program called Nutrition Incentives that most people don't know about. It's exactly what it sounds like. These are incentives or bonuses designed to encourage SNAP shoppers to make healthier, more nutritious choices. These nutrition incentives have many different forms. You may be familiar with Double Up Food Bucks, a nationwide program that will give you twice as much produce as you pay for. But there are many local programs that do similar things as well. We have a full list of those on our website. But in some areas, the deal is even sweeter. States like Washington and California have reimbursement programs that will give you up to 100% of your money back when you buy eligible fruits and vegetables. That means you can spend that money on food, get the money back, and spend it on food again. If you're only getting the bare minimum in food benefits, you could potentially double or even triple the value of your benefits just by buying eligible products through these programs. It is amazing. Now, of course, all of these nutrition incentives require you to shop at certain participating retailers. That's why we have a list of all of these programs and the stores that honor them on our website. It's all organized under our double up list, but if you click on the state specific links in that post, you'll find all the nutrition incentives we found in your area. You can jump right into it at lirlink.com slash bonus EBT. Now, speaking of fresh fruits and vegetables, did you know that you can use your EBT card to buy seeds, produce bearing plants, and even fruit trees? This is one of the coolest snap features in my opinion. You can spend a dollar or two on a packet of seeds and eat well for months to come. The USDA has estimated that every $1 spent on seeds and fertilizer can yield an average of $25 in produce, which is pretty amazing. Now you might be thinking, but I've never gardened before. Can I really do this? Absolutely. Gardening can be a lot simpler than it seems, even if you don't have a lot of space or are renting a small apartment. Don't worry if you're short on time, advancing in years, or if the word gardener has never been in your personal description. Everyone starts somewhere, and small, manageable pots can yield plenty of produce. The key is choosing high-yield produce that doesn't require much space. Think cherry tomatoes, herbs, leafy greens, or bush beans. These can thrive in small containers on a balcony or in a windowsill, making them perfect for apartment dwellers or those with limited outdoor space. Start small. A single pot or a couple of containers is a great beginning, and if you choose high-yield varieties, you'll get way more bang for your buck. You can maximize your savings by growing produce that keeps on giving throughout the season. Leafy greens, for example, can be harvested multiple times. And herbs can be picked as needed, ensuring you have a continuous supply of fresh ingredients right at your fingertips. Buying seeds, plants, and fruit trees with SNAP benefits is specifically allowed in the food stamps law, but it has proven tricky over the years. A lot of retailers don't really understand what should and shouldn't be classified as an EBT-eligible plant. So here are some quick tips to help you get started. First, you need to go to the right store. In order to accept SNAP benefits, a store must make at least 50% of their gross sales from staple foods. That means Walmart can sell you plants, but Home Depot can't. Do not go to Home Depot or Lowe's or a garden center because they won't be able to process your SNAP payment. They don't make the majority of their sales from staple foods. For the best results, you're going to need to go to a Walmart, a Costco, or a large chain grocery store or supermarket. You also need to make sure that you're buying plants that produce food. You can buy seeds, plants, and trees, but only if they're going to produce something you can eat. You cannot buy decorative plants with EBT. They must produce food. Shop online for extra goodies as well. You can also find SNAP eligible plants on Amazon and other online retailers. In fact, we have a whole category set up in our Amazon store at amazon.com slash shop slash low income relief to help you find them easily. 
One thing you'll notice is that some of Amazon's EBT eligible products include non-food items like pots or jars to help you grow things. Normally you can't buy pots, soil, fertilizer, or things like that with your benefits, but it does work with some of these Amazon listings because the majority of the item's value comes from the EBT eligible plant itself. I actually bought several of these items a while back for another video we did about EBT eligible gardening kits, and I do have a word of caution for you. If you want to buy items like seeds or the mushroom growing kit that you grow yourself, you're probably fine. However, when I purchased the live herb set with plants that were already grown, some of them were very damaged in the shipping process. One of them was completely dead. So if you decide to buy live plants online, just remember that you aren't picking out those plants yourself and the quality might not be as great as you expect. Of course, our journey to maximize savings with EBT isn't just about planting seeds. It's also about sprinkling a little bit of magic into your meals, especially the simple ones. Let's zero in on something that might seem small but is mighty in impact. Spices and seasonings. Imagine a humble bag of rice. This is a staple in many homes because it's affordable and filling. Now here's where the real magic happens. With the right spices and seasonings, this basic ingredient transforms into a world tour on your plate. Spanish rice one day, curry rice the next, followed by a fragrant herb pull off. The secret? A versatile spice cabinet that prevents your budget friendly meals from ever tasting boring. The trick isn't to stockpile every spice under the sun, but to select a few basics and learn how to blend them into culinary gold. Let's take a closer look with the example of rice. For Spanish rice, you might mix garlic powder, cumin, and chili powder with a bit of tomato sauce. Suddenly, your plain rice is a fiesta. Or if you're in the mood for something Asian-inspired, a combination of turmeric, curry powder, and a pinch of cinnamon can turn that same rice into a curry dish that's bursting with flavor. My family's been eating a lot of rice lately to save money, but our seasoning cabinet ensures that it never gets boring. Seasonings may seem expensive at first because they're often tucked in small jars with a big price tag. You only need a little at a time though, so even a little jar can go very far, and you can often buy them cheaper at stores that have bulk bins. But even if you spend a little more on seasonings, it can often help you drive down the cost of the rest of your groceries by allowing you to reinvent basic staples with many different flavors. Oh, and don't forget to avoid any pre-made blends or mixes. They're delicious, sure, but usually way more expensive than their base ingredients. Instead of buying an expensive blend like Montreal steak seasoning, consider buying the component spices, looking up a recipe online, and mixing it yourself to save even more money. Meat is expensive, but buying in bulk can help drive down the price per pound. You don't need a big family like mine to make this work for you either. You can portion large chunks of meat into individual sized servings and freeze it for later. You can do this before or after cooking. For example, let's say you buy a bulk bag of chicken. You can marinate some and freeze them in individual bags ready to be pulled out and cooked for a quick dinner, or you can cook up a batch, shred it, and then freeze that in portions. This shredded chicken becomes a versatile ingredient for everything from tacos to salads to soups, all at a moment's notice. Freezing meat properly is key to keeping it fresh and tasty. Use freezer bags or airtight containers, label them with a date, and try to use the meat within a few months for the best quality. This method not only saves you money, but also time, as you'll have pre-portioned meat ready to go whenever you need it. And don't forget, this approach isn't just for chicken. You can apply the same principles to beef, fish, and even some dairy products like cheese, which also freeze well. It's all about making the most of bulk buying opportunities to ensure that you get the best bang for your buck without letting anything go to waste. And finally, let's dive into a smart strategy for stocking your pantry, especially with those coveted name brand items. It's no secret that most of us lean toward generic or store brand products to keep our grocery bills in check. They're typically less expensive and often just as good in quality. But what if I told you there's a savvy way to enjoy the best of both worlds? Enter the world of rewarded shopping apps like Ibotta. These apps are a game changer for anyone looking to save money without sacrificing their favorite name brand goodies. In fact, sometimes you can even score free name brand items. Here's how it works. First, you need to visit our affiliate link at lirlinks.com slash Ibotta to download the app. Then before you shop, check the app for deals and cashback offers on name brand items. They have an entire category of free and buy one get one offers. You'll be surprised at how often you can find significant savings on products from brands you already know and love. They may be even cheaper than store brands. 
During certain holidays like Thanksgiving or the week leading up to the Super Bowl, you can usually find even more incredible freebies and deals. Now once you've made your purchase, simply scan your receipt and the app will credit you with some cash back for those qualifying items. This works even if you bought them with EBT. And over time, these savings add up, allowing you to fill your pantry with name brand products at a fraction of the cost. It's a great way to get rewarded for shopping smarter, not spending more. But the benefits don't stop there. These apps often feature bonuses for trying new products or buying items in certain categories. This means you can explore new flavors and new ingredients while keeping an eye on your budget. So the next time you're making your shopping list, take a moment to browse through rewarded shopping apps like Ibotta. Again, that affiliate link is lirlinks.com slash Ibotta. Be sure to check out our other videos about seven things you didn't know about EBT. I'll see you there.